This Wednesday, December 13th, Princess Charlene of Monaco shone at an elegant religious ceremony alongside her husband, Prince Albert of Monaco. Her choice of attire truly captivated attention, sporting a chic and original winter look that stood out for its unusual character. Rather than opting for a glittering evening gown, the princess chose a refined ensemble featuring a pretty turtleneck and bell-bottom pants, adding a touch of modernity and daring to her usual style. This unconventional choice of clothing is a testament to her unique sense of fashion and lends a subtle elegance to her appearance, underlining Princess Charlene's originality and refinement. But before we go any further, we'd like to welcome you to the first official channel dedicated to news about Monaco's princely family. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos about Monaco's princely family. Thank you. Before taking a short break to celebrate Christmas with their family, Prince Albert and Princess Charlene are particularly active at the end of 2023. Their busy schedule recently took them to the opening of the Principality's Christmas Market, as well as to the Bal de Noël, where their elegance was remarkable. This Wednesday, December 13th, the couple once again made a significant appearance, this time in the heart of the Palais Princier. The ceremony was particularly significant for Albert and Charlene as they had the honor of receiving the Light of Bethlehem from a young Austrian scout. This scouting tradition, celebrated during Advent, sees the light lit in Bethlehem in the West Bank, then travel to Austria before being spread throughout Europe. For Charlene of Monaco, a deeply religious woman and her husband, this symbolic act took on a very special significance, embodying an honorary moment imbued with spirituality at the heart of the Prince's Palace. The date of Wednesday, December 13th for the reception of the Light of Bethlehem at the Prince's Palace does not seem to have been chosen at random. Indeed, this day is significant in many European countries, which celebrate St. Lucia by highlighting light through candles. The South African-born princess carefully selected an outfit, in keeping with this wintry spirit, a brick-red turtleneck sweater, matched with a grey jacket, and original black pants with a fonts. Her unusual choice of attire drew widespread admiration. However, the princess's nine-year-old twins, Jacques and Gabriella, were unable to attend the beautiful ceremony. Despite the presence of a young boy, probably their own age, who handed over the light, it is likely that their mother will explain to them in detail the importance of this event. It's also conceivable that the children will be enrolled in a scouting movement, given their mother's religious commitment. This pre-Christmas rendezvous undoubtedly added a touch of meaning and warmth to the festive season for Monaco's princely family. Often discreet, without noise or escort in Monaco, Princess Charlene regularly visits Notre Dame Immaculée Cathedral to give thanks to the Lord and lay flowers, as Paris Match pointed out. The young woman and her husband have also met the Pope on several occasions at the Vatican. In this Christmas season, the twins, who have just turned nine, are preparing to celebrate the festive season with their parents. It's sure to be a warm and joyous reunion, bringing together the whole extended family. Princess Charlene's brothers, Sean and Gareth Whitstock, who live permanently or very regularly in Monaco, could be present with their children. Prince Albert's sisters, Stephanie and Caroline de Monaco, could also be present, accompanied by their children, Louis, Pauline, Camille for the former, and Andrea, Pierre, Charlotte, Alexandra for the latter, and grandchildren, a promising New Year's Eve. So, what do you think of this latest appearance by the princely couple? Your answers in the comments, of course. Thank you once again, and as always, be well.